the city famous for its quirky modern architecture. Definitely has that Amsterdam vibe. And you just can't miss it when you come here. Let's go explore Rotterdam! Welcome to Rotterdam, the city famous for its quirky modern architecture. Now, it's quite easy to get here. They have their own airport. You can get here on a train, bus, super convenient. Getting around is also quite easy. There's metro, there's tram, buses. You can go Dutch and go around on a cycle. Or you can just walk like me. I'm here for a day and a half, which I think is a reasonable enough time period to explore and see all the main attractions. If you just follow me along, you'll get to see the best of this city. So let's start the tour with these beautiful cube houses and we'll see what we can do, right? There's quite a lot to do here. Let's start. These are also called pole houses or tree houses because they're meant to represent a little jungle and one house is a museum which you can visit. Did you know you can actually rent one of these places for your stay via Airbnb? Do give it a try. Sadly, it was all booked during my stay. I would have loved it though. It's just super cool and it's really amazing just to walk around here. Ah, let's continue with the next spot. Rotterdam is known for its modern architecture and there are so many different examples around the city. BBC in fact called it Disneyland for architecture geeks. Of all buildings, my favorite is the Rotterdam Central train station. This is the Market Hall of Rotterdam and it is good for two things. First one I'm a little ambivalent about, it has the largest art piece in the entire Netherlands. The second one I'm super enthusiastic about and that's food. Let's go check it out. There are plenty of shops, restaurants, bars where you can buy stuff, especially Dutch specialties. But my favorite was that duck burger, which was insanely amazing. This behind me is Krotekerk, and this is the only remnant of the medieval city of Rotterdam. So Rotterdam was really badly bombed during World War II. That's why you don't see a lot of old buildings here. Most of it is really modern architecture. And that's mainly the reason. Let's go check it out inside. The church is beautiful and is quite well preserved and I would definitely recommend walking around. It is a multi-purpose building which is also used for some concerts and during summer you can also go up the tower. This is the symbol of Rotterdam, the Erasmus Bridge dedicated to its most important human being. He wanted to break barriers between different countries within Europe, hence the scholarship that EU offers is also called Erasmus. It took about 10 years to build and you just can't miss it when you come here. Look, it's absolutely beautiful. I am in Wittedi Witstraat. Don't go for my pronunciation, by the way. I'm gonna write all the names down because it's terrible, especially for Dutch. So, this is the cool part of the town, as you can see behind me. And this is where all the bars, the cool bars, the restaurants, the boutique shops, coffee shops, coffee bars, everything is. So, you need to come here, especially in the evening, if you like a drink. This is where everyone cool and Rotterdam will be. Let's continue. I actually need myself some coffee. Let's go. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can keep bringing you some exciting destinations every week. I just got myself some amazing hot chocolate, which is perfect for a day like this. I'm here in April, which is really good weather, and I get to see the tulips in Guggenhoff as well. One little handy tip. Do not ask for coffee shop in Netherlands. That means places that sell wheat. Ask for coffee bar. That's where you will get your coffee. We were heading to Delfshaven when I saw these beautiful gardens and apparently they belong to the museum park. Now, as one place I didn't want to visit at all because that's five of my least favorite things. Museums, of course. But it's a good place. They have beautiful gardens and I'm just recharging my battery and my phone's battery and then we continue on. See you in a bit. Rotterdam looks extra beautiful with all these flowers around. That's why I'm here in April during the Easter weekend, which is just perfect. I love Rotterdam! If you are into the city skyline, you need to come to the Euromass Tower. I am going to skip it because I have a drone and I've seen it. But if you are into the thing, this is like on the way to Delfthaven and it's very close to the museum park as well. Let's continue on to Delfthaven. I'm quite excited about that because someone told me that it has that Amsterdam vibe. So maybe you can just come here and get the modern architecture, a little bit of Amsterdam vibe and save some money for yourself. So let's go check it out. This is Delft Hafen, and this is a more traditional neighborhood. Definitely has that Amsterdam vibe, and it's perfect for a stroll. There's even a windmill at the end on that side. I will take you with me, and I would definitely recommend coming here. It's also the more ethnic area, so you'll get to see some Syrian sweet shops, Turkish places. It's, I really like it. It's quite diverse, nice, and it has that Dutch touch, right? So. I've eaten some sweets from the Syrian shop, so I need to burn them. Come, let's go on a stroll. Delfthaven actually started as the port of the city of Delft, but it was later annexed by Rotterdam in the 19th century, and it has a very beautiful and very well-preserved city centre. I do recommend walking around at least for a couple of hours and if you get tired you can always find some really cute cafes, bars and restaurants. That's all from Rotterdam for today and I will take you to some really exciting places tomorrow. Stay tuned and I need to go get some rest because my feet are killing me at this point and my stomach's asking for more food. So, see you in a bit. I'm heading to Kinnedijk, which is a village about 30 minutes away from Rotterdam. It's famous for its windmills. Let's go check it out. I will tell you a bit more when we get there. The drive is actually quite nice and you do get to see the new style windmills, which is great because you're going to see the old style windmills. I am in the beautiful village of Kinderdijk. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's famous for its windmills. Now, there's quite a few around here. Um, it's the, you can also visit two of them. 
which are part of the museum. The entrance is, I believe, only 19 euros. Only. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I don't like museums, and I can see the windmills from here. So, the Netherlands is famous for being below the sea level, and this village is one of the reasons it is dry because of the dikes and dams and these windmills. In the older times, these were used as mills. And even today, like I told you before, Netherlands uses a lot of clean energy from the windmills. But these ones are out in the sea now. So let's go explore around. It's a very teeny tiny village and there's no parking here, by the way. You need to come drop your car and get a shuttle. The last one is at 5 p.m. So after that, you're on your own. It's all permit holder parking around here. And we've been like going around for quite some time before we found like one spot. And I think soon they're just going to ban all parks, all cars that are not like for the residents here. So let me show you around a little bit and then we head back to Rotterdam. See you in a bit. Kinderdijk is a small, quaint and a beautiful village and it's quite easy to walk around. What I found really interesting during my visit was that it's actually quite popular with gamers because it is featured in a few games. There are small cafes, restaurants, bars, etc. But I would definitely recommend learning a little bit about the history because that makes it all the fun. I came to Rotterdam mainly to check out the Tulip Festival in Kuchenhof, which is not very far from Rotterdam. So if you want to check that out, here's the link for the video. Click that and meet me there. I bet you want to see that, right? This is all from Rotterdam. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful city with me. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please do let me know in comments. I'd love to get some feedback. Do reach out to me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I do post some content there too. And I will see you at another beautiful destination in another beautiful video. Until then, you have a gorgeous day ahead.